Hey guys, it's Rob J here, just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. So guys, I'm sorry it's been quite a while since my last video, but I've been having a terrible time with some allergy issues. So I hope you haven't waited too long, and if you haven't already guessed, we're going to be doing a small update on my acorn ants, which have been doing extremely well. Although, they have kept me on my toes with a minor escape. They've done escapes before from all sorts of different enclosures. And then I got this very old ant kit one out that I was sent a long time ago for a review. And they were getting out of this left, right and centre as just as well as all the other nests that I tried. But because this one was so old, I thought I could take a few extra precautions. So what I actually did is re-glue every single joint from the inside and outside. And that kept them in. But I picked it up a few days ago and there were like two workers walking around underneath. And so I've resealed every single outworld and nest possibility of it and I'm just trying to hope that I've caught whatever new hole they'd managed to open up. And the two escapees, luckily even in the previous escapes they don't go far, they sort of just wander around. Um, so they were cotton budded back in so I haven't lost any ants but I couldn't tell you how they got out, not this time. Last time you could w follow them and watch them and you could, they would lead you back to how they got out it was quite funny sometimes but this time it was like they didn't know how they got out so I just had to blanket glue the whole thing again not to mention um, a few days before that I was picking up the lid um, off the top and the middle of the lid just fell out because like it's designed in two pieces of acrylic and it uh, ant kit glue all their things now this is about just over three years old but it looks like that's about the life of the glue because it just fell apart so i re-glued it back into a solid piece um but they can't get on the lid because of a ptfe rim so I don't think that's how they got out. But it's just not my day when it comes to their enclosure. <laughs> it's um, a bit of a shambles now. It is just glue on glue on glue on glue. Well, as long as they're not getting out, I'm happy. And they shouldn't need um, a size up, to be honest. Because they're in like a really small old style acrylic nest yeah and these are called acorn ants for a reason they can live an entire mature colony in an acorn which is about the size of the nest they've got now so even though they've sort of filled it up it should never become too small and the outworld i thought might be too small or too large but it turns out it doesn't seem to be either to be honest, there seems to be enough ants in the colony to patrol it at all times. I try and move up the locations of the food. That makes them look a bit a bit more around. But this is a bit better view of what they've got. It's, um, it's like a 2017 set. And this is the nest. And I'm hoping they'll never outgrow it, really. The only time they might never need to be moved out is if anything ever went wrong with more of the seals or even the sponge or anything like that but as far as we go right now there isn't any reason to be moving them at all ever but like I said that could change and as you can see and if you are an avid watcher you've seen their previous update or if you want to just go back and watch how their previous update or even better than that started their first update and wait your way through there is a good change here 
even even the workers themselves are minutely larger as well. And um, it took me about three minutes. It was a bit like Where's Wally? It's like this book I used to get when I was a kid, and there'd be a crowd of people, and one guy would be called Wally, and he'd be wearing a red and stripy top, and it was called Where's Wally? Well, it's like Where's the Queen? And I was playing that the other day when I was recording this, and she is there, plain view. But it took me a while to spot her. But when you do, you're like, oh, that was easy. But this shot sort of gives you an idea on their size. They are basically grains of sand with legs. Which makes them a little bit interesting, to be honest. Because they're so minute. But there's always something going on. There's always a bustle. They're never as quiet or as... I don't know, um, calmed down as the other species after feeding and that. It's like it's something's always going on. And it's quite cool watching them patrol their little enclosure because to them it's huge. And it's just really fun to watch. I can't recommend microscopical ant colonies enough. They are quite good fun. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this today and I'll be trying to get back onto a normal schedule soon. Thanks a lot.